Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Ford F-150, that generation here from here guys. 2015, 16, 17, if you have one of those, you need to find where the fuse for the trailer brake control module is located, which fuse you need to check, where you can buy cheap fuses from so you don't pay a ridiculous price at the parts stores and why it's important to test fuses and relays so you don't waste your time and money. All that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car that we'll get here at the garage will try to make every single fuse video and show you where it's located. Why we do that? Because if you're in the middle of the road guys, in the middle of nowhere and you need to find that fuse specifically, it will be, it will take you a shorter amount of time to just search for that video instead of looking for the manual in your glove box and most of the times people lose their manuals. And if you don't know which fuse, let's say, to replace for ignition coils, fuel injectors, fuel pump, you may be just stuck in the middle of nowhere. So that's why we are making all these videos, guys. We're constantly working here at the garage. We're taking things apart, as you can see. And uh, if you want to check out, guys, we have uh, three channels that all together have more than 1.1 million subscribers. Okay, we have all the mechanical work there. This channel that you're watching right now, we're going to list, okay, the fuse videos here so we can save you guys time, money, and we can make it conveniently uh, for you guys. So let's start on it now. So what we have here specifically, we'll demonstrate on 2016 Ford F-150 that we have in the garage. Guys, we have two fuse boxes, but the fuse box that we will need is the one that's located under the hood. That's the radiator overflow tank. That's your car battery right there. And if we zoom in right behind that car battery, you have a fuse box. That's the cover that you need to just open. And once you open that cover, you have fuses that looks like that. Okay, that's the fuse box layout. This is the front of your F-150. This is towards the windshield side. Now, let's explain explain guys why it's important to test fuses and relays so you don't waste your time and money. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so you can see guys how you actually have here okay you have different kinds of fuses and relays that could be ford specific and really hard to find if you blow a fuse uh, let's say in the middle of nowhere in a small town and uh, you may be stuck there so we'll recommend to keep some spare fuses in your glove box we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them from at a good price and quick shipping the fuse that we need for the trailer brake control module guys will be in that fuse box right here you can see and uh, the fuse specifically for that will be known as fuse number 49 that will be from top to bottom on the left side that second fuse right here that's the fuse that you will need to check specifically for the trailer brake control module hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time